Greetings, brood killers! Today we are going to demonstrate just exactly what each Team Nemesis Super Soldier can do. Yes. First up is Detonate, Viper, Savage, and Pyro. We shall be using the training area for this. After all, I haven't showed it anywhere else. Yes, the enemies will respawn. Five minutes mission time. Uh, make them tough. Why not? Acuity. Make them visual. Number. Well, why not go up to... 30. Yeah. Training mission. Set in a special training facility. Facing a number of drone units whose behavior and equipment we have set up to challenge our tactical capability. Weapons used in this arena are not real, but the damage and effects are all simulated. This loading time is longer than most missions. So, let's uh well, let's get going and let's ignore the tutorial. Yeah, a unique training facility. I believe some of these tiles are not seen anywhere else in the game. I know we don't see uh we don't see fully intact vehicles that much. So, first up, a detonate's ability. Hmm. Uh, yes, we know that. Well, why only teach us something after we've done it? That that kind of defeats the purpose of teaching. Okay, detonate. Uh, yes, yes, we know how to move. Also, take heed that no one... Actually, yeah, they are wearing fact jackets. Silly me. Well... In that case, may as well show off the motion detectors, eh? Oh, that's interesting. Detonate and Savage have a wider range, and we can see the enemy, uh, enemy sight. Just like good old commandos. Alright then. Detonate's ability is to plant little explosives on the floor, just like that. Uh, when she is out of range, she, well, she can detonate them from any range, I believe. Simple click like that. I believe that upgrading her detonation skill uh, increases the amount of explosives you can place, but I don't know if it increased the power of the explosives. Now, here's something to try out. Hold position on. Uh, Detonate. I mean, Viper, you're up next, and you shall, you shall demonstrate your... It was the shield ability, wasn't it? <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, I believe that's the shield ability. Yeah. It just deploys a little solid shield that you can hide behind. Very simple. A uh, similar item you could get in Unreal. Just plant that on the ground and... Well, use it to escape bullets. Escaping bullets is very, very useful. Savage? You all know Savage. Well, he just holds things a lot better than other people. That's all. Pyro. The ever useful ability to make a target explode. <laughs> Just like that. Unfortunately, these are tough enemies, so they don't explode quite so easily. But they're still stupid. <laughs> okay, everyone, let's get one kill in before we demonstrate to the other team. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright then, we'll switch over to the other team now. And here we are with Doc, Ninja, Creep, and Steel. Or dock, steel, ninja, and creep. They really are tough, aren't they? <laughs> or maybe we're just 
woefully inaccurate. Okay, still demonstrate your ability right now by absorbing bullets. Yes, do that. Let's get you in a good position. We need to clear out the area before we can actually properly demonstrate now. <laughs> Alright, good. Now, as you may well know, well, Doc's ability is to simply regenerate the health of any injured unit. I believe upgrading his skill... Well, actually, I don't know what upgrading his skill does if it uh, increases the amount of uses you can have per mission, or the amount of health Hold it position. recharges um. when you use it. But now for a couple of interesting and special cases. Ninja. You... yours, I believe, was the ability to camouflage yourself like that. Yes, just like that. Hmm. Yeah, they're approaching. Oh, you see that? Uh, that seems to be the... Oh, let's step into the range. That seems to be the amount of time we can use our camouflage, and it seems to be working quite well. That's handy. Unfortunately, it's not so handy when you have to, uh, well, defeat a whole army, but hey, situational powers. Uh, can we actually... No, I don't think we can turn it off manually. Anyway, now, Creep's ability is an even more special case, in that he can actually disguise himself as one of the enemy. This is going to be interesting. Let's see. Disguise yourself as that. Yep. Let's just deal with <laughs> And creep Hmm. How do we get rid of that camouflage? I never played a played around with these abilities that much, so I don't know. Ah oh, well. Shotguns, infinite useful at close range. Yep, well, Creep's ability seems to work a lot better than I first thought it did. Although, granted, I only tried it out once or twice. See, we can walk amongst the enemies, and it doesn't appear to have any timer. Well, can you search in this mode? No, you can't even search. So Creep can't do anything in that mode. Hmm. If only I had the manual, that might give me give me a bit more information, but unfortunately I lost the manual along with the box. The only thing I have now is the CD and its case. Ah oh, well, that's it for Nemesis Team demonstrations, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. And remember, Brook no brood.